so to save our items in user defaults this is one of like uh, first things we want to do when our user runs the application the first time because it's uh, like a settings part of our application we are going to save it in user defaults but we want to do this only once we don't have to repeat it every time so the first thing runs in our application is our app delegate and here we have this did finish launching with options so we are going to write the function that is going to check if this is the first time application is running and then to some initial setup that we want to save some settings in our user defaults we can do it here so I'm going to put a variable here call this first run and this is a boolean and it's an optional and then in my did finish launching with options after our Firebase configuration I'm going to say first run check and this is a function we are calling which currently doesn't exist and this will throw us an error but we're going to write it in just a second so at the end here I'm going to put a mark after our ready up uh, functions that are provided by Apple I'm going to say um, mark first run and then we say private func first run check and let's see what we want to do first of all we want to check if this is the first time we are running our application or no because if we have already saved everything into our user defaults um, we don't have to do anything so let's say our first run variable is equals to user defaults dot object uh, this is a boolean so it's a bool for key and let's get a key also for this say k first run build this and let's go here we say k first run so we are going to check for something called first run key in our user defaults if there is nothing here in our user defaults it means our first run will be nil actually in our case it's a boolean it's going to be false so then I will check if our first run which means true and then we put exclamatory mark in front of it mean it's false so if after checking this our first run is false it means our user has never run our application yet or in our case we have run our application but the setup wasn't done so this k first run doesn't exist and I need to uh, unwrap this because this variable here is a boolean uh, boolean and optional that's why we're unwrapping this and if this is the first time we are running the first thing I want to do is to save all our uh, statuses in our user defaults and also to save a uh, true for our first run so we don't have to go through this process again so I will say user defaults dot set and then we are going to set true for key k first run so our first run from now on will be true and then we want to also set our statuses so let's get all the statuses so we say let status is equals to and we access our status dot array which is our array of all the status objects and then we want to map it and we want to map person this is going to be a dollar sign dot zero so we are going to get the row value dollar sign zero dot row value because each of our enum has the row value which is the value of our let's go to our statuses of our enums so it's in model so each of these things here is the row value so if you access the 
available dot row value it will give you the value of this so we are going to create this array and we're going to map it and once we have the map of all statuses which is the array what we want to do is say user defaults dot set and we want to set our statuses for key and we need k status all right and finally we want to save this thing so we say user defaults synchronize and this will do it let me put a print so we know this works um, this is first run and also I'm going to put the print here say first run check all right command p to build our project and it looks like it's successful so let's just get rid of some empty lines here and i'm going to build my application so right now both of these should run should print out because this is our first run So let's see, it says first run check, and then it says this is first run, which is good. And let's say I want to rerun my application. We stop and rerun. So let's see what it prints out now. It says this is first run check, and our this is first run doesn't print out because we have already saved something for our uh, k first run and this part of the if statement doesn't work so we are all okay now let me get rid of these prints and we also want to check our uh, statuses here so if I come let's see nothing is working let's go to our status table view and status count we are loading everything let's print something here loaded statuses and I'm going to delete everything and let's see if this is going to be called. So load user statuses is not being called at all, which is very weird. We are calling it here. Uh, just rerun oh I see my mistake the reason it's not being called is actually in our storyboard we never told this class that the class this view that the class is going to control it is our status table view controller so it doesn't know that this belongs to that and now if we are going to run let's go to our status table view and again I'm going to clean everything I go to our label it says load user status and everything is loaded nicely so if I click right now nothing happens and the reason nothing is marked here is if you go to our firebase here under our user you can see status hey there I'm using messenger and none of it is available here that's why it's not ticked so we need to write some kind of code that every time I select this row it's going to be marked with a tick also our user status should be saved with the currently selected status and finally it shouldn't stay selected it should be deselected as soon as I click it 
So let's get rid of this print statement. And we are going to do is the easy one. Let's do the uh, selection. So I will call, I need a function did select a row at index path. This function is being called every time our user selects a row. So here, what we want to do is say table view, deselect a row at index path, and we pass the index path animated true. So this will deselect our selected row. And what we want to do is to add a check mark to that cell. So let's write a function which is going to do it for us. And I'm going to write a private function here. Call this update cell check. And here we are going to pass the index path. which is an index path. So let's call that function here and I'm going to say update cell and let's pass our index path here. So let's see what this update cell function should do. Should should just put the check mark into uh, next to each cell that we have selected. So I'm going to uh, do the saving here for our user to so say if var user is equals to user dot current user so we have a current user then I can update my user status and this is gonna be equals to my all statuses index path dot row so this way our user is updated so let's save it we say save user locally and I'm going to pass my user. Then we say Firebase user listener dot shared dot save user to Firestore. And then I will pass my user. So what this does is updates our current user. And once we do that, updating the check mark, I will say table view reload data. And once we reload data, this table view cell for road index mark uh, index path will be called. And then it will come here, check what status we have, and then it will compare if our user status is equals to that status. And if it happens a match, we are going to place a check mark. So the code is already here. We are going to just update our current user and refresh the table view. So let's try to see if this is working. And also I'm going to open up my Firebase so we can see that the status here will change or not. Let me put this on the side. We go to settings, user, status, and let's say I want to be in a meeting. It just changed, I'm in a meeting. So if I get back here, it automatically changes this to a new status. And also now our check marks are working. Let's say we want to be a little bit busy here, get back and this is changing. And the reason this part is changing is because every time we go back, we are, uh, let's go to our edit profile. We are running this view did appear and this is saying show user info, which in its turn, is updating our status label with our user's recent status. So everything here is working. Apart one small thing, I want to add a background color to my table view so it matches the one here. And also I want to add some kind of header area here so it's not touching the uh, this navigation bar. So let's do the first one in our storyboard. I'm going to go here using my minimap and let's set the background color of my table view the same as we have here, which is table view background. Not the chat. All right. 
and go to our status and I need the function view for header in section so let's do that after our did select I'm going to call this mark table view delegates and we say uh, we want the view for header in section and I want to return a UI view so let's create it say so header view is equals to UI view and then we say header view dot background color is equals to UI color and let's get the name and mine is called table view actually no it's table background let me just make sure we have it correct in my assets I go and under my colors table view background yeah it's better to copy and paste this so we are sure that this is working so we have created our view and now I can just say return header view and let's run not to our label and you can see there is a nice space here and also the background has changed and our marking is also working nicely all right this is all with our settings tab we have set everything that we needed and next we are going to create some dummy users and load them here so we are going to chat with them